step. environment of quiet reverence. that our library has a collection other shops would lack the skill to curate. Between us, even Master Leverokin was reluctant to house them in his tower. The pen is mightier than the magic wand, apparently. <laughs> They're locked away here for their and our customers' safety. Our finest reserve includes the Tharkiot Codex, the Annals of Cassius and Netherese Folly, Sites of the Sealy and the Curriculum of Strategy. Do any of those interest you? Hmm. Interesting choice. If I didn't know better, I think you might have the necromancy of Thay in your possession. I'd advise tremendous care with the Tharkiot Codex. The cost of unlocking its mysteries is onerous. Bye. Books as temperamental as these are not on sale. They are secured in our vault, where none can harm them, nor can they do any harm. I'm happy to describe the wonders that lie between their covers. But I'm afraid purchasing them is simply out of the question. Customers like you are why I prefer the company of books. The only way to gain access to the vault is through my office. And before you ask, no, you are not allowed in there either. Madness. Utter madness. Next up, panic by I can tell you into the bin where it belongs. You're after nothing but the best. And luckily for you, that's exactly what I have. The best necromantic charms in the city. All your money back. Apologies. I'm with a customer at the moment. Do you think that zombie looks... fresh? Is fresh good? I never know with zombies. What are we doing? 
The lava elemental looks at you placidly, near unfathomable heat beating against your face. Welcome, dear patron, to Sorceress Sundries. It has come to my attention that there is a bitter adventurer located outside the shop. Not to worry. We will quickly handle this disturbance for your comfort and safety. I am an unperson in service of the revered wizard Lerokin, proprietor of this fine establishment. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the Night Song, say, Night Song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say, other. The provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the Night Song is worth a great deal to Master Leroican. Do you have information regarding the Night Song? Please proceed upstairs for further instructions. Thank you. Please come again soon and have a magical day. Welcome back to Sorceress Sundries. How can I help you? You are not Mr. Marvin Hudd, the collections officer assigned to this establishment. Logic detected. Petition approved. Enjoy. How else can I help you today? I'm sorry, I didn't understand your query. To browse our wares, say, trade. To provide information about the Night Song, say, Night Song. If you are a city official here to collect dues, say, taxes. For all other inquiries, say, other. To learn more about the search for the Night Song, say, Night Song. To learn more about Master Leroican, say, Leroican. To learn more about my good self, say, Projection. The Night Song is a relic hidden in an underground temple beneath a settlement near the river Chiontha. Master Leroican is offering a considerable sum for the object's retrieval. To truly know Master Leroican is the work of a lifetime. Suffice it to say, he is a powerful, important man whose powers exceed the limitations by which most wizards are constrained. He resides in Ramazith's tower. Anyone bearing information leading to the capture of the Night Song may gain an audience with him. All this magical hoo-ha. Gale would love it here. If Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the Night Song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. One for customer service. <laughs> I saw something. Empty that Crush me. How? Gone. It's all about you know, fish, my love. I simply oh, must have it. How can I help you? What would you like to know? by Lord Carsus himself, the Netherese Arcanist who attempted to replace the goddess Mistra, failed and was banished for
for the attempt. Great magical knowledge lies within those pages, but not many can withstand it. The annals of Carsus would no doubt have much to say about the crow's true nature. If only you could read them. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. I trust your judgment. If you believe this magician's threats are sound, then we must face him. I will soar above the city and find his lair with my keen sight. Meet me there when you've had your rest. We will fight together, and this magician will fall. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable, invincible. It all feels like recklessness to me. can harm her, just as Ketherick did. She'll survive it, but she can suffer like any of us, and for longer. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand, I suppose. I feel the same about her. I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. I imagine a rat like Laroican will be nothing in comparison. How can I help? Yes, Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god, to know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Loving them has its side effects as well. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. 
tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Everyone can just wave their hands and be you. Why aren't they rationing anything? Gold? It's all about profit. It certainly is at that. But what will we do in the What's meantime? What's this? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the Night Song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. At last. There you are, my dear. You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin, and you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am Lorowakan. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance, and that of your fine companion. Who perhaps heard I was looking for you? <sighs> Dame Aelin, I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years! <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. 
I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. But his magic lives. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. I have great plans for you, Dame Aelin. And if you will not go quietly, then you'll go kicking and screaming. <laughs> Magicians and their plans for Dame Aelin. Predictable, sadistic, flaccid. Mamadons! Imperatum!
in my best interest.
swift as my feet can carry me. forward. Take you.
Find a route. Got to focus. Take two. Roican. You who would see me caged. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and misery merchant see. Dame Aelin is watching. She is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken! By its beauty! The Firehead Fool is dead. Yet as I stare upon his corpse, I feel... ...sadness. Why? Yet if I could run him through a thousand times, I wonder. A battle has tired my mind. Made me susceptible to flights of fancy. You were excellent in battle. As is your way. And I am proud to fight at your side. I will catch my breath. Then to camp I will bring my bones. Moon Maiden be with you. Gods are watching me. Oh, that should more than suffice. Good here, I hope. 
Be cautious. go. Can't keep me out. some valuable knowledge hidden between these pages. arrived in the nick of time, saintly adventure. I've been trapped for so long, I dare say I'm half mad! Ho ho! <laughs> Thank you for sacrificing yourself to save me. Such courage brings a tear to the eye. Both an oasis and a prison. 
Someone must be inside at all times. But you were the first brave enough to take my place. Thank you ever so much. Toodles! I'll take that. Storage and sorting of scroll work, parchment, and tomes.
No entry to vaults. Trespassers will be disintegrated. Master Larrokan. the path to the Carsus Vault.
book on Netherese magic? Gail may like to know. 